The CF-18s are getting old. Designed in the 1970s, they were introduced into Canadian service in 1982, so they're basically as old as me, and yet they're still flying on the front lines. Of course, they're not the same planes today that they were back in 1982. They've gone through some changes along the way. This video is intended to be an overview of the most recent upgrade program to the CF-188 Hornet. And yes, that's the official name, but everyone calls it the CF-18, including myself. Just a quick reminder that small channels like mine need your support. Please subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. This will help convince the YouTube algorithms to recommend my videos and grow the channel. Anyway, keeping these old birds competitive isn't easy, especially when you consider the cars that were introduced around the same time. 1982 saw the introduction of the BMW E30, the Chrysler 5th Avenue, Ford Ranger, Nissan Sentra, Porsche 944, Toyota Camry, and Volvo 700 series, just to name a few. We can all agree that cars have come a long way since then. Could you imagine shoehorning a new sports car into an old E30? It's a lot of hard work, but it is possible. I've seen it done. Now what about doing that for the third time? Well, that's exactly the kind of thing they've been doing to the Hornets over the years. Shoehorning more and more technology into an increasingly aging design just to keep it relevant. Not top of the line, just relevant. I know I'm being sassy here, but the whole situation is frustrating. A report from the Auditor General in 2018 found that the Hornets had not had a serious capability upgrade since 2008. They found that Canada was becoming increasingly unable to simultaneously meet its NORAD and NATO commitments. They concluded that this leaves a capability gap that urgently needed to be addressed. Ideally, a new aircraft would be purchased, and not just another 18 F-18s from Australia, although that did help. Since the timeline for replacing the Hornets keeps getting stretched out, the old war horses would need to be upgraded again. This report got the ball rolling, and by May 2020, the Hornet Extension Project, or HEP, was planned. Upgrades would happen in two stages, HEP-1 and HEP-2, and build upon the previous series of upgrades called the Incremental Modernization Project, which concluded in spring 2010. HEP-1 focuses on modernizing equipment to make it compatible with other NATO systems and with modern civil aviation standards. Changes include a new transponder, a new Honeywell inertial and GPS navigation system, helmet night vision queuing devices, Collins Aerospace Gen 6 radios and airborne joint tactical radios, upgrades to the sniper targeting pod, and upgrades to the mission computer. All 94 aircraft will eventually receive this upgrade, which is to be completed by spring 2026. HEP-2 focuses on improving combat capabilities. Only 36 aircraft will be updated to this standard. They will be selected according to their projected lifespans. The major change was the replacement of the APG-73 radar with the Raytheon APG-79 Active Electronically Scanned, or AESA, radar, and upgrades to the Advanced Distributed Combat Training System and data links. These upgrades allow the HEP-2 Hornets to employ a slew of new weapons, the purchase of which is included in the overall project cost. These include the AIM-9X Block II Sidewinder short-range air-to-air missile, which is the most advanced version of the missile and has proven itself to be an effective balloon killer, the AIM-120D medium-range air-to-air missile, which has a stated range of between 130 and 160 kilometers, hence the need for a longer-range radar, and the AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon, which is a glide bomb with a stated range of 110 kilometers, but probably goes a little further than that. Adoption of these weapons will bring the Hornet's combat capabilities up to modern frontline standards of most other NATO nations. The total project cost, including the purchase of new radars and weapons, will be around $1.4 billion Canadian. The upgrades are being carried out by L3 Harris and Mirabel Quebec. The first was delivered in August 2nd of 2023, and the fleet is expected to be fully converted by March 2026. This most recent upgrade will hopefully be the last for the Hornets before their long overdue retirement. This is currently scheduled for 2032 when the CF-35s come online, but who really knows? I'm sure the comment section is going to fill up pretty fast with this one. I'll do a more in-depth look at the CF-18s and its lengthy replacement saga in a later video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you won't miss it. 
I may also do a video on the Sidewinder and AIM-120 at some point, depending on people's interest on the subject. The best place to give me feedback on things like this is on the Patreon page, or in the comment section of this video. And as always, big thanks to my supporters on Patreon, and to all of you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Have a great one.